all right so welcome back so in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're we'll trying to see how to do load testing for a fast api application so load testing is a concept of trying to check for the performance or the response time of a web application or an api when it is being used at the same time by multiple users right so let's say you the developer here you build a web application it can be with flash streamlit django express fast api and then you want to or you build an api right you want to see how performance your app is going to be when not only just one user is using it but multiple users are using it at the same time or thousands of users are using it at the same time you want to see whether your app will still respond well your app is still going to perform and still be doing the same thing it's not going to be slow so that is the concept of load testing so you are loading your web application you are loading your api with multiple users at the same time so how do you do that so the simplest way is to use several frameworks and libraries such as jmeter there is locust there is k6 there is these are the rest there are a lot of them so these frameworks or tools allows you to be able to simulate multiple users reaching or assessing your web application or your api so in this one of tutorial we're trying to see how to build a simple api with fast api and then we will try and see how to use locust to do load testing then later on we'll try and see how to do the same thing for streamlet and the rest so let's go back and check it out so i'll uh, be doing fast api so in case you don't have you can just install the system so let's start so i'll go back into my workspace and in case you don't have any of the frameworks you can just install it with just open so pip install fast fast api right and you also be using uvcon to help us save our app and then you also be installing locust so these are the packages to be using right then you will also be building a simple nlp application so we'll be using test blob to help us do something very simple okay so these are the things we'll be using in this wonderful session okay perfect so i'm just going to create a folder which calls as my fast api app right moving to my fast api app there's nothing this i'm going to create a simple file called app.py then that is the basic understanding so let's open this place and then let's start writing some code so we'll be writing a very simple basic app then later on we'll try and see how to test it up so as you already know to work with fast api you just have to go to the this option so from make it bigger so i'm going to make it big so that everybody can see from fast api fast api import fast api right then from here let's also import query to help us make some queries then just as this is going to initialize the app no matter but i hope everybody can see it well it's going to be my app it's going to be my first api right then let's create our first route so it's going to be our route so i'm creating something very basic so to work with fast api just use the the greater so app dot get it's going to be our first default route then i'm going to use async def i'll call it as my index page right then i'm going to return something simple this is just very basic i'm returning a json file called let's go that's my test and let's go that's hello fast api right something like that right mm -hmm. then i'm going to run it. so this is something very busy that you have run right very simple so let's go back again and close this one with if main perfect and then i'm going to change this one from main to uvcon we are using uvcon to help us uvcon so i have to import uvcon from above so import uvcon then from uvcon i'll be using uvcon to run my app so app dot that's the name of the app referring to this initialized app here then i'm going to specify the host i want to listen it on i'm listening on point one two seven point zero point zero point zero one right this is what you are listening on zero one this is local host then i have to specify the port i want to listen on so the port is going to be port eight thousand right that is something very basic so let's run this app so i'll just go back again to my terminal which is here my app is there then to run it just go straight away with this option of my uvcon right and then this let me show you how to run it so this go down here if i come back here right so this app is referring to the app here it's referring to the app here right here right and the other app is referring to the file itself right so that is the main understanding behind it so the first one this app here is referring to the file name and then this app here is referring to the name written here which is this one right this particular one here right very simple 
so that's what that's how to run it to keep on rerunning it so i'm just going to go back again and the reload allows us to be able to reload it so that anytime i rerun it any changes it still be able to detect and then work perfectly well for us this opening so i'm going to open this particular url so copy this one go back here and i'm going to paste it here so this is my first API. That's, that everything is working as Let me position it well. Right, so I've positioned it well. So you can see the result here, right? The result which was on Hello Fast API. Very nice. Now let's build a simple functional activity, right, with this, and then use it for our so that to be able to work on this. I'm going to create user admin analysis to help us with that stuff. So let's call this my NLP package. Yeah, even test blocks from test blog import test blob we are building something very basic right to actually simulate it perfect now let's go back again and then create another route this is going to be my app app dot get right the first one is going to be a get route then from here i'm just going to specify what i want to do so this is going to be the default route so sentiment sentiment perfect right then i also have to specify let's say the test i want to put there Test, right that, that I want to do sentence sentiment analysis on then let's create an async def our code as we say get sentiment then this is going to take in the variable test so this test is coming from here right perfect can also add type notation to it but let's go straight away with something simple so blob is going to be my test blob I'm passing my test I'll get the sentiment of it perfect right and now let's create Let's create a simple result which will be sent to the user. So let's call this my original test. Right, the original test that the person supplied, which is going to be the test itself, right? Then this one is going to be the remaining one, which is going to be the polarity. So let's go with my polarity. Polarity. This is going to be my blob dot polarity. The next one is going to be the subjectivity. Subjectivity. It's going to be blob dot subjectivity. 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 Everything is working as well. Right. Perfect. So that is something very basic. Now let's return the result. So return the result. Perfect. So that is something very basic we have built. So we have built a simple service that is going to be used for sentiment analysis, right? So we are just important as blob to do the analysis of the app part. So let's go back again so everything is working as expected let's check my terminal this finishing it's going to detect the changes it's going to restart again for us so let's go back again now as we already know with fast api if i go back here right and i go with docs it's going to give me the swagger ui for the app as we already saw in some time ago it's going to give us the two endpoints we have our index which has nothing here if i click on this i can try it out I like execute and I'm going to get the result today, right? The same result we got at the other point. So this is the one cent, and this is going to be our hello fast API, which is coming from here, right? Let me go back and show you to this particular result here. Hello fast API is the same result I get in from here, right? Let's go back, right? So everyone can see it all. Right, that's a big understanding. Now we want to also check for this particular route, so I'll just go back again. Close this one here. And if I go back and I check it out, this is the sentiment analysis API endpoint, right? If I check it out, you can see, let me make it bigger. You can see that this is it. We have the description. I can paste in my test here. So let's try it out. And I can paste in a test. So let's say I love coding. So I love coding so much, right, something like that. So if I click on execute, this is going to be a positive sentiment. It's going to analyze it and it's going to give us our result, right? So this is going to be the original test. I love coding so much, polarity 0.37 and then subjectivity 0.4. So this is a positive sentiment, right? Very simple. Okay, so that you have seen how to build a simple API. Now, how do you test it? How do you make sure that if not only me is using, but multiple users are using, maybe three users are using it at the same time? or maybe multiple thousands of users are using it at the same time. That is where low cost come inside. So one thing about fast API is that with this code we have executed here, right? So I go back here and I copy this here. 
right this is a get request copy this and i open my browser and i paste it here it's not going to you see that has given us a result perfectly well. right perfect right so that is something very cool so this is another way you can also test the app so i'll just go back again and then we are going to be load testing it we're trying to simulate multiple users so i'll go back to my workspace which create another file i'm going to call it as low cost file right it can be any name in the same place i have so low cost file dot pi so we are using locust to help simulate the users so to work with locust is very simple all you need to do is this so from locust import http user so this http user is going to be used to simulate the number of users you want right the next one is tax which is going to tell us which tasks you want to perform by the http user and then we have the between so the between is going to tell us how many times you want to wait between users right very simple then we need to create a class so the class can be any class so let's go to my app user then this is going to inherit from the http user right perfect and then from here i'm going to specify the wait time so the wait time is how uh, how i want to wait between users right from user one to user two i want to wait between them let's say two to five seconds perfect then the next option is to create the individual tax you want to do so i'm just going to go that this is going to my tax then for this task i want you to go to the to the index page and do something right i want you to go to the index page and do something. this is index page right then inside this in this page i'm going to inherit from self this self is coming from the http user here then i'm going to say okay self dot client so this client is referring to the http user so that's going to be the client to be used to do this particular task there right get and the dot get this client can take all the http request or rest method get post put delete and the rest so this one is get i want you to get the particular url so it's going to tell me that okay when i run this app go to this particular url perfect so that is the first one now let's test for the other one for the main app itself i'm going to go to stuff okay this is going to be for the sentiment page right so for the sentiment page i want you to go to the sentiment page and i want you to do something so let's create random sentences so sentences I'm going to create one of sentences that you will know. So, this let's say, let's say something simple. I'll paste the code there. So, I have some questions here. So, I want to randomly select from these particular sentences there. So, I'm just going to be using pandas. Oh, yeah, I'll be using a simple tool to help us with that. I'll be using random to randomly select from these things to test it. Right, I'm going to come back again to this place. Then, from here, I can just say that okay, so create or randomly select. Tenth, so this is going to be random dot choice for my sentences, right? That is all. Then, when you select it, I want you to place it inside this particular place, right? This same place that I would have done it. So, I'm going to use that same URL. So, it's going to be self dot client dot get. Then, I'm going to use the same URL with your sentiment. This URL is the same URL that. Or the endpoint, right? This seems endpoint is what I'm using. So sentiment. Then from there, I'm going to paste in the result. Right? So this option you can just do plus string. Let's convert the entire thing to string. Then my test. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm testing here, right? Perfect. So this is how to do that. So it's very simple. The most important thing is that from locust import ATP user, a tax and a between. Then you have some random samples sentence that you want to test and this is going to be the default route we are testing it and it's going to be the one we want to test for the api right perfect so to work with locust you have to make sure that number one the app itself is running the main app is running and number two you are going to run the locust file so our main app is running as you can see right it's detecting the changes everything is working as expected okay let's go back again every part of the app works as you can see right if i go back and i change it from here to the docs redox so redox the app still works right you can see that we got the redox aspect right for the fast api which is very cool so how do we simulate multiple users right so i'll just go back again 
so it said everything is working we have our get sentiment everything works as expected right so this is a validation error but you still skip it so let's go back again and then let's run it so i'll just go back to my terminal let's split it here so we're moving to the location glabs dev and then i'll go back to my fast api right so here so we have my locust file and you have the app itself so the app is running so let's run the locust file you work running just go with locust dash f then you have my locust file as you can see dot pi and then you can just go straight away with it without any parameters right so let's go straight away with this without any parameter so automatically going to open our file right and then give us a simple port that you listen to it's running it we tell us open this particular port so i'll copy this port here copy link go back to the same place we're running now paste it here right so this is going to be the default low cost part and the number of users is one right because i know specify so from here i can just specify okay i want to just check for 10 users the span rate i can leave it like that and the local host is the local host this particular app is running on this one here this port here right the same port that you had inside your app this port here right it's the same port you are trying to listen on on the local host so i'll go back and i'll paste it here now click on start swarming so it's going to simulate multiple users so this is going to give us a very simple chat we have the chat the statistics so this all the report the request being sent you can see that these things are being changed here these are the things coming from our list of sentences as you can see here's the number of requests being made if there are fields it's going to show us the failure the median response time the percentile response time the average response time the minimum the maximum right and the current response time right very cool and you can also see it in the format of a chat if i come back to the chat you can see that it started from zero here right and this response time is going up and up and up the pink one is the number of failures there are no failures that's why it's here and there's a response per second right as it's going up now let's check the other important thing so what you'll be checking is that you'll be checking the number of users so we started from zero we went to four then six then we went to eight then we are nine ten so this is going to be the number of users using the app at the same time right ten users and this is just the same thing but as i check this one the response time the green line here is still the same right it's not changing much, that much that means that the, the app is going to be performance right when 10 users are using you are still going to have the same rate of response time right and the median response time is also more the same right perfect in case i want to stop it i can stop it and i can also start a new test and i can change it from this to let's say let's make it 50 users right then i'll start swarming so it's we're going to start from 50 right start from one then move to 50 so as you can see this is a normal one so that is rising up it's going to reach 17 it's going to go up and as it's going up you can see the changes right so the response time went up a little then it's going to stay at that particular point over time so this is one of the ways of trying to test your api so in case you have multiple apis you can also use this particular application right locals is very cool that is going it's still going down right so the number of users are increasing but the response time is still around the same time right although the median response time is going up at least for the percentile but it's still the same time as you can see right it's going up the number of users is rising up rising up rising up and then you can see that everything is working as expected so the app is functioning well there are no mistakes if i go back to my logs so i see the number of requests being made as you can see here right different different requests are being made all of them are okay and then if you see the locust result everything is working well you can also get all of this results by going to the download data you can download it as csv for the statistics for the failures and for the exceptions if i check the exceptions there are no exceptions if i test for the failures there are no there's only one failure here right which is at the beginning remote disconnect right when you stopped it then the tax you can see all the tasks that have been done so we have two tasks we have the index page and the sentiment page which is referring to the task that was defined here on the locust file so that is how to do simple load testing for your fast api app 
so number one you need to install locust in your packages then you just create your app right your api as you as you already learned and we are using test blob to simulate an endpoint for sentiment analysis then when you go to your locust file you're just going to import http user tax in between http user is going to be used to simulate your users Task is going to tell us which task to perform between is going to be the number of response time you want it to be this is our sentence and we are randomly selecting from this and passing it to our endpoint here so this is very important self.get self dot self self dot client is very important if you want to do a post you just go with post Want to do a get just go to get and you just specify your endpoint so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can put inside the comment section below and see you in the next session stay blessed